Mitchell. Mitchell, you are really amazing. <laughs> I'll have lot. I have to do a lot just to keep up. You with that violin, and I with the piano. Let's perform our tune together. Like this, surely it'll be. It'll sure be lots of fun. child to be able to feels unbelievable when I see it with my own eyes. Paganini and the likes. Even though I can't play any of that, a child like this. A genius boy, huh? A real big deal. As expected, it's the boy without the piano that shines forth. Of course, his piano skill level hasn't caught up after all. Well, I do think that the piano player does play well for his age, but... Of course, when he's alongside Mitchell, it turns out like this. Why does his performances always have that for a comp accompaniment? They could just hire an adult for that. No helping it. It is what he himself wishes for. Seems to draw attention when his little brother is not the one providing a accompaniment. Though they call him genius, he's still just a child. His younger brother, was it Pierre or something? They're also twins, so it's easy to figure out that they get along quite closely. Tired. <laughs> of course, doing that day after day would make you tired, wouldn't it? That's right. Don't want to play violin anymore at all. My, my. Everyone praised you for your violin, right? Didn't you hear? No, didn't hear anything at all. Ah, I see. You're always like that. Because I have no interest. What is it? Ah. Uh, um. Um. Are you a new maid? Y yes. I'm a new maid who has just come here. Please call me Charlotte. I see. I am Pierre. This is Mitchell. Best regards. Best regards. Young master. Mitchell, right? What is it? Ah, no. It, it's nothing at all. So, so then... Excuse me. Hmm. Hmm. I see. What? Nothing really. Just that that kid seems to have gotten to like you quite a lot. Uh, what are you saying, Pierre? Well, it's not related to me, so it's all right, I guess. Ah. Uh, seems like things will get interesting. Ah, uh, no, it's n no thing. Um, young master, I am merely going to practice. I see. Then do your best. How about returning to your job? I excuse me.
guess it's going there for now. So you finally came. Took you quite a while, really. Pierre, since when have you been? Since about three hours ago. Really now, it's troublesome how you dislike practicing. You should try practicing, on, practicing along with me now. Well, okay, along with me now. Charlotte? Eh? Didn't you go back to your job? That's right, but, uh, uh, um, ah, I see, you're also cleaning this room, right? Ah, y yes. Huh. Now let's get our minds back on what we were doing before. It's already dark, so let's wrap it up for today. I guess so. Even so, as expected of you, Mitchell, to be able to play that well without practicing much at all. As for me, I still need to continue practicing. Well then, I'll go on ahead. Yeah, Master, are you not going? Not really, just somehow I don't f feel like moving. Yeah, Master, you're amazing. It's the first time I've ever heard such beautiful tones. Perhaps so. It was amazing. I felt moved. Young yeah, Master, I really like your performance, Young Master. Ah, uh, uh-huh. Now then, I'll be going. Okay. By the way, how old are you? Don't you see not much different in age from us? Ah, um... <coughs> Thirteen. I just became able to work, so I became employed. Hmm. Seems like you've been cutting costs again. What is that? Nothing, really. Seems like Pierre has been studying. Zealous as always. Huh. <sighs> what is it? No, it's nothing, but just stuck on a little studying, you see. Diligent as always, Pierre. You should study too, Mitchell, otherwise the teacher will get mad again. What a bother. I will eventually now. Will it now? You can do it if you... You can do it if you try, but since you don't try, Mitchell... So, Mitchell, as you're not performing or studying either, what the heck are you going to do as of now? I'm going to sleep already. Quite early, isn't it? 
Well, all right. Good night. Good night, Pierre. Good night, Mitchell. Young master. is calling you and so so that's why you came to wake me up all right understood yes will you let way for me ah sorry <laughs> anything about me mm, no it's nothing N nothing it doesn't matter much. Can't you talk a little more straightforwardly? I'm sorry. Hmm. Did he write all of this? Just when did he go to sleep? That guy. Mitchell, got up late, didn't you? Hey, Pierre. Lately, I've been feeling a queer gaze on me, as if I'm being watched by someone. That's probably Charlotte, right? Because that kid is always running about near you, Mitchell. Don't make that kind of face. She admires you, so isn't it cute? You wouldn't know, Pierre. Can't the maid be switched or something? You don't have to go that far now. Speaking of which, Mitchell, you were also just called by father, right? That's right. You too, Pierre? Well, a little just a moment ago. Surely didn't wake you up then, see? Hey, Mitchell, about Charlotte, won't you do something for her? Something? Well, I don't wanna. But by leaving things like this, that child looks quite pitiful. What's the deal, siding with her so far like this? Eh? No, that's not really what I'm trying to do here. Ah, Mitchell, it's good you come. What is it? Ah. It's actually about the upcoming performance. So I'm doing another one? For the upcoming concert, how about if you only you go there to perform? Huh? No, it's just something that's been already pointed out several times. This time we'll be calling a pro pianist for our accompaniment. How about it? Don't wanna. As I thought. But you see, the pianist this time is quite famous. I won't perform with anyone but Pierre. But it really has been putting out several times and like this we might not be able to call anyone again. Even if so, that's no problem, right? Understood. We'll be refusing the pianist, but it took great effort in finding that person. Is that all? Yes, that's right. Then excuse me. You again. Ah, uh, um, young master, are you perhaps not quite getting along with master? Well, you see, that person probably doesn't think of me as a son or anything. Eh? Probably just thinks of me as a convenient money maker because this family has no money, see? That's. Speaking of which, how are you treated working at this house? Since it's that person, you probably aren't getting much of a decent wage. You two must be experiencing misfortune. Th that's not true. Master is truly a good person. I always think that it's great that I've been working. I've been able to work here. Hmm. I see. 
Yes, it truly is like a dream to actually be able to eat two pieces of bread every day. And even the bed is prepared for me. I truly am happy not to have to sleep on the floor. Which is why Master is truly a good person. Little Master Mitchell, please, if you could somehow get along with Master. Yeah. Yeah, Master. Um, I... I don't understand. Because I don't understand what kind of treatment you're getting. Are you satisfied with this? Then I'll be going now. Young Master. But she seems quite disliked, that kid. You understand if you also experienced it. Experience? Now that's no way to talk about her. Mitchell. Pierre. Just the right timing. There was something I wanted to talk to you about. I see. What is it? You see, there seems to be another upcoming performance, but for this one, could you go perform alone for me? Did Father say something? Did Father say anything to you? Eh? N no. Well... <laughs> Something unnecessary. Don't talk that way about your own father now. Well, anyways, that day I have some business to take care of. I see. Then I won't go either. I have the concert cancelled. Or have the day moved. This is for your sake, Mitchell. Always performing alongside someone as unskilled as me. You won't gain anything, you know? You have talent, so no matter what, you can't just stop now. You have to aim for something even higher. Higher, huh? What's the point in doing something like that? Even if I can play well, it wouldn't be enjoyable like that. Mitchell, that's if you have a choice. To be able to play well and enjoy it. You wish for too much. Then I don't have to even play well. If it's talent that must be bound to something like that, then I don't need it. In any case, if that's not with you, Pierre, I won't go before him, because I won't listen no matter what they tell me. Ha! <sighs> you really sure grow a little more distant from your little brother. Really, an older brother who just can't be helped, aren't you? It's also quite tough being Mitchell's twin. What's that supposed to mean? I understand now. That's enough. I'll have to tell father. The sound of footsteps? Pierre? That guy performing all the way until this kind of time. Hmm? This sound feels a little... Ah, young master. Why are you in a place like this? Just couldn't sleep a little. Ah, I see. So you're the one making those footstep sounds, right? I I'm sorry. 